can you figure out what's going on in the in the brass industry? Uh, Lloyd, I, re I really can't. I'm, everybody would say uh, that this is unprecedented. Nothing like this has ever happened before. Uh, we're seeing brass prices now uh, considerably, staying considerably above even the price of copper. And you know, brass is only made up of 70% copper, free machining brass, 70% copper, 30% zinc, both of which are much lower in price than uh, what brass is. In the American market now, you have two primary producers of brass, Chase and Mueller. How is that affecting you in the marketplace? Are you able to find uh, alternate uh, brass, say, in the, uh, from foreign suppliers, or because of your scrap relationship, are you pretty much tied in to both uh, Chase and Mueller? Yeah, Chase and Mueller, by what they've done with their pricing, is pretty much locked in the U.S. marketplace. It's impossible for you to buy overseas and sell in the open market unless you just happen to hit it when brass prices are just on a tear upward and just be lucky. But you could not, uh, unless you're a high speculation, you couldn't do that. One last question. Do you have any experience in using their lead-free or low-lead uh, products, and if so, what's it like to machine that? Yeah, they've, they've produced a lead-free uh, product that machines very well, but what they call lead-free, and what they've always advertised uh, lead-free is really like a low-lead. There's nothing that's actually lead-free in the marketplace, but they meet the standards, mostly California is the big uh, thing. We do some products for like water softeners uh, that we do that, uh, the low lead product. Machine's fine, We've, we haven't really had, a, had any problem machining it, no, it's good.